Now, pressure is beginning to mount on President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy, William Ruto, to name those deemed to have implicated them at the International Criminal Court. CIS Senator James Orengo now says he will name the fixers in the next 10 days if Jubilee fails to name them. Orengo spoke as Nairobi Senator Gideon Mbuvi said Jubilee supporters were not ready to forgive those he termed as traitors. Kericho Senator Charles Keter who kicked off the storm over who implicated President Huru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto at The Hague. The President and his deputy have steered clear of the issue, but it won't rest just yet. In Kibera, where court leader Raila Odinga addressed a rally. <laughs> And pressure is beginning to mount on the president to name and suck those deemed to have fixed him and his deputy. I think the government, with all the powers that it has, it should name those people in government because to bear false testimony, even in the name of God, is wrong. Ourselves as your supporters. <laughs> Never ever forgive them. CIS Senator James Orengo says he will name the fixers if the president fails to do so. If they don't, within 10 days, and I've said this in the church, I'm very serious about I will start naming those people who bore false testimony in the case of William Ruto one by one. In Kikuyu constituency, several leaders who attended the funds drive in aid of the Kikuyu Constituency Education Foundation told of the West over the move to reject the deferral of Kenyan cases at the ICC. Terrorism is not a big issue. We want our troops back in Kenya tomorrow. Wanajeshi wa KDF wanaweza fanya kazi ya kuchunga wa Kenya, ya kuchunga makanisa na ya kuchunga maslahi na usalama ya wa Kenya kuliko kupigania global terrorism. Tunauliza Mheshimiwa Rais na Mheshimiwa Deputy President wa review hiyo policy. Jeshi letu warudi hapa Kenya ndio magaidi wakitokea kama siku ile ingine kuwe na jeshi ya kutosha ya kulinda watu wa Kenya ndani ya nchi yetu ya Kenya. President Uhuru Kenyatta who spoke in current said the ICC cases are not a national challenge. Some of us still have what I still refer to as personal challenges and I still do. But those challenges are, are actually very minimal in comparison to the challenges that we have as a nation. Hiyo wale watu wanapoteza wakati yao kujaza maneno kwa magazeti. Mimi nawaambia wananchi. So many ile iko kwa gazeti kesho tufunge naye nyama na tuendeshe serikali mbele. On Friday, the United Nations Security Council rejected Kenya's request for a deferral of the cases facing President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto. Greta Tinina, KTN.